Here's a stone for a uh, Charles Robb, who died in 1897. Uh, here's a stone for um, another a wife of a Robb, looks like Katrina, who died in uh, 1887, before the, before George did. Okay. So we're coming down the path a little farther. Uh, here's somebody named uh, Kate Conley. Over here there's a, a couple of family clusters that are defined by a fence. Let's see who might have been here. Right outside the fence I see uh, George Myers and Elizabeth Myers. Inside here, these must be some older um, Myers stones. I can't quite make them out. The Charles looks like okay over here. Here's another little family plot behind a fence. And uh, this is actually um, the Hills, who are uh, relations of ours, of mine, that have moved over here. These are relations of Jacob Hill that moved over here in the Fairfield area as opposed to um, our direct relatives that moved over into the Derry or Salem area. But um, these people here in this little plot are actually related to us Chapmans. Coming around here, we have uh, Samuel Ross, died in 1896. These are all newcomers. And down in here, let's see who we got. John Schott. And Joseph, somebody can't make that out. I, I probably could if I had more time, but not for this video. Now here's some people that are related to uh, Heises, and uh, this is uh, Robert Haycox, who was in uh, Company F of the 125th Infantry, died in uh, 1865. Looks like he may have died in the war. Actually, he's got a little. Uh, uh, a little Civil War um, thing there, and the time that he died was 1865. This is um, Mother Margaret. I think this was Margaret Heiss, 1818 to 1908, or she was a Haycox, I'm not sure. But um, I think she was a Margaret Heiss that married Haycox. And uh, some of our Millarn people lived with them, I believe. Over in here, we got uh, Henderson, Lily Henderson. Over here is uh, some more hills. Here's Isaac Hill. And Jane. Who are these people? This is uh, Ira Swartz. There's a lot of people in here that are not named Wakefield or Heiss. But as we move uh, towards the very back, of the cemetery, then we start uh, finding uh, some of the original owners here. Here's um, William Heiss, who died in 1852 at 88 years of age. Here's uh, Sarah, wife of uh, T. Hall. She may have been a Sarah Heiss. 
she died when she was 28 in 1844. These are uh, some that are flat in the ground here. But uh, this is actually, I believe, this is Daniel Pershing here. This is the oldest, one of the, uh, the oldest Pershing grave. And um, this, this is uh, James Pershing, who died in uh, 1891 or something like that. This is Cyrus Pershing. Oh, this one here is just really in a bad state. This is Mary, somebody. She's definitely gone to the worms. You can see the worms here. They just get a bunch of worms out. I can't tell right away who she is. Here's uh, John Logan, who died in uh, 1810. This is uh, Margaret Margaret Jane. May have been a Heist. Maybe a Margaret Jane Heist. So here we are, you know, clear back at the end. Who knows how many more graves there might be, you know, back a. Uh, just behind the weeds or so. This is looking back the way we came in. Very pretty and quiet down in here. All you can hear is a little bit of the wind rustling through the trees, treetops, and a few birds singing. Very quiet, very peaceful place. Now right on to my right down here is the, the banks of the river. It's really quiet here because you can't even hear it, but I'm not going to blast my way through all these weeds to get to the river, but believe me, it's probably 20 feet beyond these, uh, these leaves that I'm looking at right here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little trip to the uh, Pershing Heist Cemetery. Sorry for the camera bouncing around so much and all, but uh, it's the best we can do. This will go up on YouTube and be available for people to look at. Thank you for tuning in.